Okay, in this video what I want to show you is how to create a contact sheet that will have uh, 25 4x6's on it. It's a 30 by 20 this is easy to print a full sheet of um, 4 by 6s and an automated way to do it without lining them up because in the past what I've seen I've seen students you know taking their 4 by 6s dragging them on then you gotta you know put them up there you gotta drag this one on you gotta rotate it spin it around uh, my computer's running a little slow but bear with me you know and just doing this on through the whole sheet but there's a very easy way to do it and I'll show you how to do it let me close these out to where you end up with this and you have nice fine cut lines so you know where to cut and everything's real smooth so anyway we'll go ahead and uh, close this out get that closed out and what you want to do first is go to file and then down to automate and keep in mind this only works in CS3 and older after CS3 they put this option in bridge and um, that I don't know how to do so for this demonstration we'll do it in Adobe CS3 so you're gonna go to file automate contact sheet 2 basically what you're doing is creating a large 30 by 20 canvas sheet now uh, these once you've changed these settings once they remain that way so these will be different than what yours look like but I'll walk you through them. first thing you want to do is make sure it's 30 by 20 and you want 300 DPI resolution RGB color um, I think this is checked by default I like that unchecked because I want to keep each layer separate and I'll show you why you want to do that later and what you want is five rows by five rows rotate for best fit this is important in case all your pictures some of your pictures are horizontal and some are vertical you'll want this checked that way it'll rotate it automatically um, you want to uncheck this auto spacing and I use this auto spacing to put that thin white line so I know where to put my cut marks and I found out find found what was best was uh, 0 0.03 inches seemed to work fine you can, as you can see here it's going to print me a 4x6, a sheet of 25 4x6s. And come up here and select the folder that you, you want it, uh, you have your photos in. Now if you have more than 25 photos in a folder, what will happen is every 25 pictures it will create another sheet. So if I had 30, it would open another 30 by 20 with 5 pictures on it. So you can have as many pictures as you want, it will just keep going until it's finished. And every 25 it will create a new sheet. So go ahead and select that folder. Well, go ahead and hit OK, and it'll start running. And this takes about a minute or so; it doesn't take too long. Okay, now that it's finished, you can see here I got my 25 four by sixes. This is a large um, 30 inch by 20 inch. And um, back when I had mentioned about flattening the layers, the reason being is, let's say you didn't want that image, I can delete that image and say I wanted um, another copy of this so I'll just hold the alt key down click that image and pop it right in and there you go or if you had an image from somewhere else you wanted to pop on you can go ahead and do so so what you do now is just save it out I'll save this um, they usually do them as my last name make sure it's a JPEG so I'll just type 001 I always save them to my desktop save as Go ahead and make sure it's maximum large file size. Save it, and there you go. Take it to the printer, and you'll be all set. And then all you have to do is cut them out, and you're all done. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thanks a lot. My name is Bill, and see you later.